from Iraq, I was clearly a changed person. Some things can't be unseen, especially when surrounded by war. I wasn't Sergeant Spider-Man anymore. That's what the guys called me. See, I had this sixth sense that would react when danger was imminent. The guys called it my Spidey sense, hence the nickname. I knew moments before an IED was going off. I knew moments before shots rang out. Did it save lives? Maybe. I would call it out when I could sense it and we would maneuver based on it. It was never wrong until I got back home and it went off despite no danger. The docs at the VA called it post-traumatic stress disorder and I got a service dog as a result. He knows when it's going off puts his face in the palm of my hand. This wave of comfort comes over me. I call him Scraps because we feed him under the table. He's really brought our family much closer together. He used to talk to Mark and the kids during dinner about their day, homework, everything. Especially before he went to Iraq. I'm glad we're settled down now and not moving from base to base. Unfortunately, the mark that sits here now is vastly different from the one I had before PTSD. He used to take me out on dates. He wrote poems about me. He used to make me feel so special. He was my high school sweetheart. Now, though, we barely talk. And when we do, it's a fight. And no matter how hard I try to get out of the fight, it turns nasty, it doesn't make sense. But then we got Scraps, our dog. He's a service dog that has saved our family. I know at times he's been my confidant and companion. Today's a bad day. February 7th, 2018. It was a year ago today that everything went silent. 9.27 PM. On this day, Pluto moved inside Neptune's orbit in 1979. NASA had its first untethered spacewalk in 1984. Ashton Kutcher was born. Richard Hatch died. It's feast day for those that celebrate that sort of thing. Is there a God? I can't seem to find the answer, but it's a question I have. Maybe he can bring back the sound. It's been over 31.5 million seconds since we became a quiet house. I want to feel sad about it. I want to understand it. I want to talk to Scraps about it. I'd like to talk to God about it. I don't know how, though. 
I can't talk to anyone. Uh, certainly not my family. My dad would flip out if he ever found out. And, and my mom would, who knows, probably dig herself deeper into the hole she's dug to protect herself. And my brother, Devin, don't get me started there. I, I don't want to bottle it up, but I, I need to get these thoughts and feelings out in somewhere where I can feel safe. I started seeing him because he offered all that and more, but it turned into something that I didn't want at all. Um, sometimes I would sneak Scraps, our dog, into my bedroom just to feel safe again. Now I pretty much hate life, hate people, I hate myself. Wish I was Scraps. Excuse me? Mom, could you pass the butter? Of course. How was your day? Beth, what are you doing? I'm sorry, Mark. I forgot where I was. Just don't let it happen again. Uh, it's okay, Mom. I'd rather not talk about it. <clears throat> talk about what, Karen? Nothing, Dad. It's been exactly one year. A year? Yes, Dad. A year. Don't get mad. But it's been a year. Mad? I'm not gonna get mad. A year since what? Since... You know... Never mind. Devin, tell me. A year since what? The silence, Dad. The silence again? Devin, buddy, you've got to move on, kid. Move on when you don't. Karen, what are you talking about? It's okay, kids. What your father is trying to say is that we're all dealing with it the best way that we can. Dealing with what, Beth? The thing. The whole thing. All of it. Life. I don't know, Mark. I'm just trying to hold myself together here. Everything is fine. What is going on? We're supposed to be eating in silence. Mark, that's not fair. Don't We've been through a lot. Don't make this about me, Beth. I'm not. Not at all. Yes, you are. Don't lie on top of it. You're doing this in front of our kids. You're doing this in front of us, Dad. Karen, be cautious, little girl. I am not a little girl, Dad. But she's not a little girl. She's 17 years, 3 months, and 9 days old as of today. I'm not a little boy either before that gets started. I'm 14 years, 9 months, and 16 days as of today. My birthday is- Devin! Enough! Okay. Please, just go back to eating in silence. Karen, please keep feeding the dog. Dad, I don't want to keep feeding the dog. I don't want to feed the dog anymore either, Dad. Honey, they shouldn't have to keep feeding the dog if they don't want to. You will to. feed the dog. Everybody will feed the goddamn dog. Understood? I don't understand why. Because I said so. Mark. Because it's better for our family if we do this together. It's been a year, Dad. A year since what? This silence crap that Devin keeps talking about? You're unbelievable. A year since Scraps died, Dad. They want me to believe it's been a year since Scraps died. That's just not true. I mean, how crazy would it be that we've been feeding nothing under the table for a year? 
See what I mean when I say I don't understand what's happened to this family? Every night after dinner, kids and I clean up the food under the table while Mark sits and watches TV or plays on his phone. Kids have gotten good at pretending most nights. Puts half a meal down there. I wish he'd get help. That conversation just turns into more yelling, and I can't do more yelling. Most nights, there are just under 100 pieces of food on the floor. Tonight, I estimate that dinner will take approximately 21 minutes to complete, thanks to the conversation that took place. It was the first conversation during a meal, beyond asking for this or that, in exactly one year. Mom says we have to keep this up until Dad realizes Scraps is dead. Well, in some ways, this might delay the inevitable. It doesn't do me any good to do this. Mom even has fake conversations with the dog. I want to quit this family. why I wish I was scraps.